tree fruits from peaches to apricots, oranges and lemons, and apples and pears are a delicious and nutritious part of everyday life, especially in the summer. There are many different types of fruit trees and vines, each with their own unique characteristics. Here we will focus on three major groups, the palm fruits, stone fruits, and citrus. With apple crossing techniques as an example, you should be able to cross many different types of fruit and nut trees. Apples, pears, and quinces, known as the poem fruits, are in the rose family Rosaceae and are all typically diploid with 17 pairs of chromosomes. Some apple varieties can also be triploid or tetraploid. Triploid varieties are very juicy because the polyploid cells are larger, a concept called gigas. Malus domestica, the apple, descended from the wild species Malus siversii in Central Asia. There are over 50 wild Malus species that are found in Europe and Asia, some of which are sexually compatible with the domesticated apple. There are more than 30 different species of pears in the Pyrus genus, which grow throughout Europe and Asia. The three main cultivated species are the European pear, the Chinese white pear, and the Nashi pear. The quince is from the mountains of Central Asia. Stone fruits are in the genus Prunus, which is also in the rose family. They are mostly diploid with eight pairs of chromosomes, but some can be tetraploid or hexaploid. Prunus species are found in Asia, Europe, the Middle East, and even the Americas. They include peaches and nectarines, apricots, plums, cherries, and almonds, which are eaten as seeds. Many stone fruit species with the same number of chromosomes can cross with each other. The pluot and plumcot are examples of a cross between plums and apricots. Finally, the citrus genus is a diverse and fragrant group of fruit tree species. They are diploid with nine pairs of chromosomes, and some seedless varieties such as limes are also triploid. Some citrus fruit varieties can also develop seedless fruits even if they are not pollinated, a trait called parthenocarpy. Citrus species are found throughout Southeast Asia and India, and even Australia. They include the mandarin orange, pomelo, citron, and key lime. Citrus species are interfertile, and many important varieties are crosses between two or more species. The sweet orange is believed to be a cross between the mandarin and pomelo, and the lemon a cross between the pomelo and citron. The grapefruit is a further cross between the sweet orange and the pomelo. But the origins of the Tahiti or Persian lime remain unknown. Palm fruits, stone fruits, and citrus are monoclinous because they have perfect bisexual flowers with both male and female parts. Like other members of the rose family, the palms and stone fruits have five petals and five sepals, which surround many anthers and a single stigma that leads to the ovary. Palms may produce multiples of five seeds, but each stone fruit contains only one seed. These species flower in the early spring. Citrus flowers, which may emerge at different times of the year depending upon location and climate, typically have five petals and sepals, but can sometimes have only four. Citrus also have many anthers and a single stigma, however the fruits can contain many seeds. Citrus seeds can have multiple embryos and can also even be clones of the maternal parent, a concept called apomixis. Making crosses between apple trees is a straightforward process with a few important things to remember. When the flowers are mature and open, they produce pollen and can be pollinated by bees. To prevent this from occurring, simply cover the branch of the tree with a bag before the flowers open. Many fruit tree species are self-incompatible, which can be advantageous because it can make the crossing process go quicker. Apples are almost exclusively cross-pollinated. However, in the right climate, such as the northwest coast of the United States, some pollen tubes can grow from a self-pollination and fertilize the egg. Keep this in mind before setting up your cross. 
To make a cross with a self-incompatible apple, collect pollen from several flowers of the male parent with a pair of forceps. Collecting the anthers will get you lots of pollen. Next, remove the bag protecting the flowers on the female parent and brush the pollen onto the stigmas of each flower. You can use a paintbrush or forceps, but some breeders use their fingertips. Because pollen from these flowers can contaminate your container of pollen, you will need to clean up with ethanol before you go back to the container. If you pollinate with your fingertips, you can do 10 pollinations before you need to wash your hands. If your trees are self-fertile, you do not need to bag the branch before the flowers open because you will dissect the flowers while they are still closed. As apple flowers mature and before they open, they pass through a stage called the balloon stage. Flowers at this stage are fertile but do not shed pollen. To make a cross, carefully tear off the petals with your forceps and then remove the immature anthers. Take care to remove all of them. Now, simply pollinate the stigma as before. Also remove any flowers that have already opened, and if you are done pollinating, remove any remaining buds and label the branch that your pollinations were on. Remember to write the female parent first. To protect your pollinations from visiting bees, you can put a bag back over the branch. Since apples flower once per year, there are a few tricks to make successful crosses between varieties. To speed up flowering, you can remove a few branches from a tree and put them in a jar of water indoors. The flowers will quickly bloom and produce pollen. You can also collect and store tubes of pollen in a refrigerator for weeks, or if desiccated and dry, for months in a freezer. This enables breeders to even make crosses between trees in different places around the world. When the fruit is fully ripe, remove it from the tree. To collect the seeds without damaging them, Slice it open near, but not through, the center. Remove the seeds with a small spatula, rinse and allow them to dry, and place them in a labeled bag to plant the next generation. These can be planted in flats and transplanted to the field to grow into trees. Fruit trees can take several years to flower and even longer to reach full maturity to evaluate. Because seeds from each tree will all be different from one another, when a tree with desirable characteristics has been found, it is vegetatively propagated to maintain the variety. Cuttings of branches and buds, called scions, can be grafted onto rootstocks to generate many more trees for full-scale evaluations or to plant orchards for production. Because of this grafting process, breeders often select good rootstock and scion genotypes separately and then graft them together for the best combination. Fruit tree breeding is a patient process as it can take 20 to 30 years to go from an initial cross to a new variety that you can find in the store. But with the diversity of shapes, colors, flavors, and textures, and the nutritional benefits that come with each new variety, the fruits of this labor are well worth it.